Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legend as we continue with the Wu Extreme Legend stages. So here we have the salt on Xu province where Sun Ce, after taking control of the south, is still alive, didn't get assassinated, and is making a move against Liu Bei in the Xu province. So we'll be fighting Liu Bei here, but the tricky part is at this time, Lü Bu is also in the Xu province, so we actually get to fight Lü Bu as well. We'll be using Sun Ce to get his 6-star weapon, and we'll talk about how to do so. Uh, Sun Jian is dead, Sun Ce is the leader. That part has not changed. I believe we have left Yuan Shu's service and is our own man at this point. We defeated Liu Yao in the south. And now we're expanding to the Shu province. I mean, historically speaking, there was an attempt to do this. But he was stopped at Guangling. Chen Deng stopped him. So this assault failed very early on. This would be the assumption that that attack didn't fail. And we continued north to fight Liu Bei and Lü Bu. Alrighty, we'll be playing as Sun Tzu here. He's leveled up a bit, but not super high. Level 44, nothing crazy here. Uh, Tongfa is our weapon. We have our two tier fours. And we're going to be swapping Quick Learner back to Victory Cry. And that's pretty much it. Our EX attack has a five hit combo and a one hit combo. Uh, it's not the greatest. I like the one hit quite a bit because it's a knock up with some chain follow up. Uh, but overall, we attack a bit slow for my taste. And our objective here is quite straightforward. The most difficult part about this stage is killing Lü Bu at the end. Aside from that, the rest of this is quite easy. Oh, actually we have the wrong skill. I don't want Musu Spray. I want Attack Boost. Okay, now we're correct. Let's go. I can't wait to get out there and make my mark. Alrighty, so let's talk about our objective. Zhou Yu will lead a force going down the eastern path, and his job is to set up some catapults to take out the siege defenses in Xiao Pei, where Liu Bei is sitting at the northwestern corner of the map. Our job is to charge our forces through Zhang Fei here. After we defeat him, the doors open to the central forts, the three forts in the middle there. And we just have to kill Chen Deng. That's it. And the time limit of this depends on how fast Zhou Yu sets up the catapults. So we have to do it pretty fast. Uh, because if our ally finishes his objective, then this is a fail for us. So we're going to skip some targets first until we finish off Chen Deng. And this is a nice historical nod to the fact that Chen Deng is the one who stopped this from actually happening. Uh, so we get to fix that. We will take Shu province as our own. Now Chen Deng is quite talented, but he would die of a parasite infection. Uh, he was very fond of eating raw fish, uh, early a mire of sushi. Uh, China had its form of sushi as well, mostly freshwater fish, um, but for various reasons, well, it's just more famous in Japan nowadays, globally speaking. I mean, there's raw fish consumption, China, Korea, Japan. Alright, we can't let him finish the catapults before we kill Zhang Fei here. That's our first EX, you can see all the punches, which is pretty nice. Maybe Chen Gui can help us out here, so we can kill his son a little faster. I'm trying to stack a... Oh, not that. A Storm Rage attack with a weapon advantage against him, so I can slap Yep, everyone else around me if I turn over. Let's do a uh, weapon swap, Musu. Just a knock up. Oh, Zhang Fei even dodged it. He was just kind of 
far away. You can see he's boosted, so it's kind of hard to kill him. He's moosuing as well. Let's get out. Did we get him this time? Yes, we did. Didn't kill him, though. There we go. Might as well kill Trungue at this health level. Alright, now let's go kill his son. I don't know why Dopey's here. He's a yellow turban in Runan that joins Liu Bei later on. Why would he be in the Sui province? Okay, the gate's gonna be shut on us. We have to kill this gatekeeper. Now, obviously, Chen Deng's not very difficult to kill. But we're gonna unleash because we're on time limit. So let's go. Oh my god, is he blocking these? There we go. There's one thing I don't like about his Rage Musu. The range of the knockback is farther than the range of his attack. Things are going so it's well. quite hard I'm just to chain things. it. Alright, where's his item? There I we go. And the treasure should be showing up somewhere. We're, we're on the map. He's assembling the... Oh, right here, right here. Wait, where? Ah, right here. It's kind of hard to see. Now we can go back and kill all the generals and proceed with the stage. Chandal's here, let's kill him. To come out alone. This, ought to be good. this is our five hit EX. So basically all our EX attacks have a uh, chain effect. Wait, why can't I? I was trying to weapon swap. I don't know why it wouldn't let me. You can see this is our one hit EX, also a bunch of punches right after. It's like the jab combo is our thing for both our one hit and five X. One's a knock up, one has a kick at the end. That's like the difference. The strangest thing about this stage is while we get to kill Zhang Fei, and he was kind of hard to kill, Zhu Zhi and them are going to be able to kill Guan Yu on the other side, which honestly makes no sense. Considering how weak allies are usually in um, hard difficulty. But this stage, yeah, you can see Zhou Yu kills Guan Yu. This stage is because we are clearing so fast with objective, our morale is actually making our officers quite strong. Let's take out these two forts and then meet everyone back in Xiao Pei to kill Liu Bei. What's the matter? Are you lost, you poor little Not gonna surrender to Wu this time? This is gonna be fun. Now our job now is to stack up our rage for that final fight against Lu Bu. Qian also have a weapon advantage. Alrighty, so we finished our job. The catapults should be set up now. And we can hit the base without worry about the siege weapons. Now, the siege weapon that Liu Bei has are not able to be destroyed, including these two at the front. These two in the front will always be here. So just get through them quickly and let the catapults that draw you set up destroy the rest. Or else it's kind of impossible to fight in this area without the catapults working. There we go. See, now they're gone. We can't actually hit them. Nobody's going to open the doors here. And we can fight them as Liu Bu approach as well. Alright, let's do some regular Musu. Punch, 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 punch. And we can do some uh, weapon swap Musu as well, just for variety's sake. 
and then another regular Musu. We're not going to use our Rage here, because Lu uh, Bu is still a thing. As you can see, he has arrived. Your base down. So Lu Bu's joining the fight. Okay, I'll take him on too. We do have to pay attention to if we will start hitting our our younger brother Sun Quan, who is the commander in this stage. We kill. There's a weapon box back here. Make the bun. I mean, Ribu is coming in with all his generals, including Chen Gong and them, going to our other base, which is another problem. But we're just going to kill Ribu first, because we can't protect both sides of our commanders. We have two commanders on this stage. So our only objective is to end this fast. These things will keep shooting. It's quite annoying. Let me get down here. I don't want to fight here. Zhang Nao, let's go. Wei Xu as well. Do I have weapon advantage? Nope. Disadvantage. Wei Xu, obviously, a people's brother-in-law, but in the future, we'll betray him. If Ibu is going to fight our commander there, and that's dangerous. I do want to kill John L, though. Okay, okay, let's let's go babysit our... I think it's our brother who's leading this group. Sun Quan, right? And Nan's also... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zenba's also here, Gaoshun's also here. Chengu is not here because he went to our other base. I had heard you were strong, but I'm not about to lose to you yet. We're not gonna get too greedy with weapons here. Where's Lu Bu? There he is. I don't think I have a weapon advantage against him. I can check. Yep, I don't. So I figure we just rage Musu this. Target Liu Bu. Target Liu Bu. There we go. I don't think we'll kill him, but he'll be weakened for sure. You can see the knockback range is much farther than our attack range, which makes it very annoying. We have a lot of Musus recharge around us. Oh, that missed. Oh, he was right behind us. Alright, let's pick up these. And another round. Wait, the wall camera is killing us? There we go. Many more to go. Meat tendalizer. We got him. I let down my guard. Don't Let's pick up some gear. Waste you survived. Shu province belongs to us now. Everybody, I appreciate your effort. Not too bad. We were just scary at times, and we didn't let him do too much with the Musu spam that we did at the end here. Now to check out our six-star weapon. Icicle Tongfa. It's interesting to see back to back sort of icy looks. The Zhou Tai had that jade looking blade, Dazzler, um, Frost on this. I thought Ice is more of Cao Pi and Cao Cao's faction thing, but I guess we have this now too. Spurt, Triumph, Fear. Oh, the elements are great. The attack damage is definitely a bit low, but the elements on it's very high. Alrighty. So we're able to wrap this up. Next time, we'll have another alternative stage in the Wu Stream Legend, as we will look to get Taishu Tzu's weapon in a relatively difficult stage. So we'll see how that turns out, and uh, we'll see you guys then. Bye!